What is a totem? So that you understand and don't get surprised by these sorts of effects. Animals live with a collective mind. They have one mind for all, roughly said. How many animals have existed in the world? They die, they get born. Billions. They have saved up a gargantuan energetic force. And it does contain an informational component, but it's simply quite primitive. The component is called survival, how to survive and multiply. But there is a reason why the totem forces are called this way. They were worshipped by a great number of people in its time. Every bloodline, every clan had its own totem. And that means that the people's consciousness was connected to this energo-informational volume, and this information is of a slightly different kind, of a much higher order. This forms a totem force, a totem mind, which later in time has been called a genius. And this genius includes an enormous force of living beings, including people who have a right to have contact with that living being. And through this symbol, through the right to have contact with this living being, you receive access to this enormous energo informational resource. Egregor who? An egregor is a speck of dust compared to this force. It is insignificant. And you receive access to this place. All shamanic practices are based precisely on this quality, just for your information, in case you are interested. Find this force within yourself, manifest it, make it dominant, and then you have an opportunity to use the power of the spirit and of all the minds that relate to that same spirit. This includes people and animals. The earth gives us the ability to draw information from this internal state, a dark state. You can draw power from the dark state. You need to be well versed in everything. Well done, very well. You will have the time to remain in this state for some time, to feel it maximally clear, to manifest this force. You have the right to this force for your own survival. If your ancestors left your legacy by flesh, blood or genes, the right to connect to your bloodline totems, the right to connect to your old gods, then you are in your right to use all of it. That said, you do so according to the general conditions of interacting with ancestral spirits and that of the totems. But you will be finding this out on your own, because you will have specific dreams and the reality will change as well. Don't be scared by the straightforwardness of the consciousness. Don't be afraid of the rigidness of the mind, meaning that this consciousness is rigid, it is simple. You won't find any eloquence here. But behind this straightforwardness, there are two sides to every coin. On the one hand, there is the mind, and we will be lacking in terms of intellectual power. It will be lowered to an extreme. But on the other hand, survivorship quality will be manifested. Remember, this will not last for long. You just have to go through this experience. Nothing terrible will happen, even if others will think that you are a bit silly. It is not a big deal, considering that we will gain a survivorship quality, right? Besides, all the students before you went through this and not one of them lost their socially prized achievements. Consequently, they even made gains. Because talking about this sort of power, you will find that others are generally very much drawn by it. And why is that? Because the vibration of the earth element doesn't just manifest in the physical body, but also in the buddhic body. And this means that in the eyes of people, you in fact become an egregorial leader. And it gets more and more interesting with every step of the way. More interesting because we will be coming across different elements and once we come to elemental combination it gets even better. For now we are moving from simple to complex. At one point this used to be our evolution, we used to be this way at the beginning. It means that the memory of what it was like when our consciousness existed at the level of the first chakra relates to us directly. Therefore we have a right to all these survival algorithms. We have a right to the algorithms of connection to the forces of our bloodlines. We do have a right. 
But you can come to this right only through the vibration of the earth element. And this means that we must temporarily put aside our human intellects.